we're sitting here talking about last night's game. Do you think, Nate, in all the football that you have played and observed and talked about, that Brady did, in fact, lose track of the downs last night? I believe he did. I'm not, I'm not going to try to cover up for Brady. Um, you know, anytime you look at the ref and you give him those eyes with uh, four fingers up, yes. asking as if, you know, you, you, you think that there's another down. And I, 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 saw, I saw a tweet. And, Eisen, don't get mad at me, but I saw a tweet. Somebody said it must be a Michigan thing, and it was a side-by-side with him and Weber. Time I out. didn't agree with oh. it. And just so you know, Boy. I did not like it either. Okay? <laughs> People on the same page. You're just letting me know that we're lockstep on that front, that you also did not like it, but you'd like to talk I about it. I like it. But you're right. That that, yeah, yeah. that that indication of four fingers up in the air is not like, so the Bears are four and one now, right? I mean, like, that that, that would definitely lead to something. But but the greater, the greater issue, again, is that, um, you know, that, yes, even if Brady did lose track of downs or something like that, is that, it's kind of the cherry on top of the, the, the lack of discipline or situational f- smarts that sometimes this team displayed last night. And that fact that Brady uh, committed that means that this team is still not yet uh, on the same page, as we like to say, in the NFL. What, what do you think about the three and two bucks now after what you saw last night, Nate Burleson? It's such a strong contrast between what was last week in the five-touchdown game and then also, you know, what we've seen early on in the season. We were talking about it on Good Morning Football, and the question was, has the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hit their stride? And I wanted to say yes, um, but given the fact that you had a hobble Mike Evans out there, you have Chris Godwin, who was one of the premier wide receivers in the league, on the sideline, and still Gronk trying to find some type of rhythm out there within this offense, I had to answer no, they haven't hit their stride. And I think there's a bigger question is, did this offseason um, with quarantine and not being able to be in the same building, study inside the football classroom, did that play a role in Tom Brady uh, not being as prepared as he typically is? Because we know Tom Brady is a student of the game, but as we see with the mental errors and the, also the mistakes, um, not, not necessarily the mistakes, but the injuries that we've seen in football, I think the off season or the lack thereof has played a crucial part in some of these teams stubbing their toe figuratively and literally with some of these injuries. But I, I do feel like Tom Brady and the Bucks, um, they're a decent team. You know, it's it's rare that we talk about Tom Brady and any team that he's on and saying that they're decent, but I'm not gonna BS you and say, Oh, they're great and, and, and they're they're perfectly fine. No, they're not. They're not perfectly fine. And given the fact that this quarterback is in his mid forties and has never been a threat to run in the pocket and you see he does not want to get hit, and any time there is a collapse of the pocket, like we saw last night, Khalil Mack being an absolute monster, yes. I believe that it's going to be it's going to be trouble for those guys for any defense that can collapse the pocket on Brady and uh, and make those windows very small. 